Hi, this is Question Mark with Question Mark and the Mysterians, and you're listening to the Ari Flesher Show. And no matter what happens in their life, baby, just remember one thing. Just rock and roll and go with the flow, baby. Woo. He'll be coming up in about five minutes. Getting a lot of phone calls for my birthday. We'll get to you in, in about 30 seconds. 727-441-3000 in the Bay Area. 866-826-1340. Just got to hear. That was a Farfisa organ. We had a little contest with that. Okay, well, I better get some of these callers, huh? All right, let's take our first one. Yanni Artie Fletcher Show, who's this? Hey, Gunny, it's, it's, hey, it's, it's Gunny. <laughs> it's who? It's Gunny, Artie. Hey, Gunny. Five, brother, from the Corps. From where? The Marine Corps. Oh, Gunny, how you doing? Oh, living large and loving life, my friend. Just calling to say happy birthday, Semper Fi. Do what you're doing, brother. You, you're an inspiration to most of us, and keep rocking that hand cream, brother. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the show, man. Thanks. No problem, brother. You enjoy. Thank you. Coming up in about two minutes, question mark, Q mark, all the way from Detroit. You're on the Artie Fletcher Show. Who's this? Hello? 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 Hi. Happy birthday. Is this Tina? Yeah. Now I'm rocking the hand cream. Yeah, you better be rocking the hand cream, baby. Me and um, Cedric went to uh, Rob's house. I heard. Cool. Yeah, he was. Uh, he 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 couldn't. Uh, he was like starstruck. <laughs> and then he put his That's hand awesome. cream away. Yeah. So this Saturday, Billy G's Diving Gray's playing, and yep. uh, I will be stopping by. I will be there. Uh, Tina King's birthday, my birthday, and. Where else shows up in August, I guess. Yep, exactly. Uh, coming up, Q from from Tina King's home state, Michigan. Q Mark, question mark. Great guy, funny. I love him to death. That's why he's on the show. Tomorrow, man, don't forget. Little River Van. Uh, Tina King, you know who they are, right? Yep. Tina, I thank you so much. So I'll be grabbing your boobs on Saturday. <laughs> Tina? Tina? Okay. I think Tina's gone. We got Q on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, my main man, the man with the groove, the man with the 96 tears, a brother in his own situation, tells you how it is. He don't hold back. That is Q Mark. Oh. How you doing? You got that right. How you doing? All right. I see you guys uh, did a live date last week someplace. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was in uh, Saginaw, Michigan. And uh, we're ready to tour everywhere. You know how that goes, right? So you were in Sac. But, oh, Go ahead, my brother. Huh? You were in no, Sac. I'm, I'm, I'm by Flint, Michigan. You know, between Flint and Saginaw. Yep. So uh-huh. you. Uh, please, ha- um, remember we were talking, you was going to be in your birthday suit for your birthday? Yeah, I'm wearing my birthday suit. I'm standing here right now in a thong that says question mark. Uh-huh. Well, I is naked right now, too. That's what I'm saying. That's how we roll, bro. Uh-huh. I told you I was going to be because um, next week on the 13th is my birthday, and I don't think I can be on your radio on that day, so that's why I'm celebrating it this way. Happy birthday, Q! Another Leo! Well, well you know how that is. <laughs> somebody called in. Don't and tell everybody. Somebody... Don't tell everybody it's my birthday. I... Oh, I thought we were having a private conversation. No, no. People listen all over the country, son. Uh, somebody said well, that... Oh, that's... Can I suggest this? Yes, sir. Why don't we all get in our birthday suit and celebrate with you? I mean, I'm in my bathroom. You know what I'm saying? I got 80 acres, and I'm making sure there ain't no cameras out there. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, my uh-huh. God. I got it covered. I uh, got it covered. My junk ain't that big, so I don't got it covered. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, but ain't the size is how you use it. You Mexican. You packing some heat. Well, I know you are, man. No, but listen here. Remember... I got 48, uh, no, 468 positions of sex positions. Remember, I told you that. Goes with your IQ, son. Uh-huh. Well, no, my IQ is 425, steady, staying steady. Damn. Oh, by the way, um, two years ago on this, uh, the 31st of August, and we are looking for employment. Um, you know, it's hard work. And uh, I hate when uh, entertainers say, oh, I'm having a lot of fun. And I'll, hey, no fun, let me tell you. Because I put out. 
And uh, but hey, two years ago at Turtle Beach in Michigan, we did our first nudist uh, performance. Y'all played nude? No, the crowd was nude. Oh damn, that would have to be funny. No, it was cool. I mean, you know, I mean, can you imagine? Oh, and there's some people, because uh, it was a three-day event, right? Right. And I said, well, why don't you make the last day, because you have to buy tickets for the three days. I said, no, why don't you make the last day, because people that have seen us before, maybe they would enjoy coming to a nudist colony and seeing us perform in the nude, duh. I mean, they being in the nude, right? Yeah, man. And so that's what they did. And as we were signing autographs, there was a few people that, seen us at the clubs and I said, oh, I thought I recognized you. <laughs> I saw I saw the poster for that. It said, pinch your own tent. What's up with that? Uh, what do you? <laughs> it said, pinch your own tent. Pinch your own tent. Pinch. Where are you going with that? Pit, because meaning well, guy, guy had a hard on, he had big junk, he pitched his own tent, man. Oh. I thought you were funny. I is funny. Let me ask you a question. I've been watching some uh, YouTube videos, old footage of you. Do you consider uh -huh. yourself a good dancer? Uh, yes, I do. I oh. is the best dancer. And tell me why you, you you feel that, my brother. I don't feel it. I know it. You know, it's because like this, even the, even though Derek, right, I'm dancing with the stars, right? Yeah, there you okay. go. Okay, uh, Cheryl's my, uh, Derek and Cheryl are my favorite. Okay. okay? See, they go by what the book says. I mean, if the drummer's going, da -da 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 -da, and they're only going to go two turns, what happened to the rest of the turns following the drum beat? Huh? Duh. You know? <laughs> I mean, you see them year after year, and they never change the style of their doing. You know what I'm saying? And it's a sad thing because even with So You Think You Can Dance, you know that program? Right? Yeah, 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 anyway, yeah. When, you're, when, when the choreographers are telling you how to dance, well, they're keeping you from shining because you can't because you got to follow their and you're going to lose eventually, right? True. What's that all about? Yeah, you got a yeah. good point there. Let me ask you a question. Well, like I said, I, I am the world's best choreographer, and if I was to uh, choreograph for these people, I would. They would be dancing to the singer and to the music. See, all they dance to is to the music. You know, when Wade Newton was on there dancing with the stars. I did vote for him because I want to see him go a little further. <laughs> but to make a long story short, and uh, but like I, you know, I call this people. I said, hey, when he goes on there, you know, when he's on stage, he sings with his voice. I mean, he's following his voice, his words, and the music. Right? Tell him to do the same thing with his arms extensions and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And with the the last word that he does, uh, do something with his arms, things like that. I mean, you don't see these choreographers. They don't follow the singer while the music is being played. And that's a sad thing. That's why I, I am the best dancer, because when I'm dancing to the, uh, my lyrics while I'm singing, I, there's a lot of arm movements and all that kind of stuff, and I'm also dancing to the beat. And when I develop my music, it has to have a beat. The drummer is the most important thing, because I want to dance on stage, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I watched mm -hmm. it. Now, somebody, yeah. we keep getting these emails, and we could give them Twitter, and people are asking me how old you are. I said, he doesn't seem to let anybody know how old he is, because I look through Facebook, and, and you got to be in your high 60s. That's for damn sure. I'm 16. Don't even go any further than that. And Richard Clark, Richard, okay, because I never took him Dick Clark. We go way back to 1957. See? Um, but anyways, when they celebrated his earliest uh, birthday, you know, um, uh, Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy Johnson. Anyways, yep. he did the hotel cast all over the world yep. you know, on radio and all that kind of stuff. Well, anyways, they called me up because they wanted me to say something to Richard. And I said, so I came to, but, you know, he wasn't there at the presentation on the, on the Star of Hollywood, you know, when they did that. But uh, Richie was. And I said, Richard, oh, no, you can't be turning 16 and a half because that means I'm going to age. You got to stop it now. Just well, like that, I'm huh? born in 55, and you hooked up with Dick Clark in 57. There's no way I'm older than you. Well, I know you ain't. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, but you're in great shape. You move good. But I see, I saw rock and roll come in. I seen everything, you know what I'm saying? I you was did. doing the jitterbug. I was winning contests. I won the twist. I won the limbo. I won the mashed potato. I won the Charleston. <laughs> 
See, you got to dance out there. I'll win it. See, when I do a show in Michigan, I'll be doing some uh, someplace. I'll, they'll be, I'll be performing. I'm coming to stay with okay. you for two days. Now, I got a real... Okay, you're a comedian. Yeah, like duh. I said, I'm the duh. greatest comedian, right? What? But dig this. I, I said I'm the world's greatest comedian. Not okay? really. Now, dig this. Okay. And I tell it like it is. Okay. Anyways, on my Facebook, everybody go to my blog. Um, let's give this information out. It's question mark nine six. And you can read this right now. No, you can't because you're going to be listening to me. And, and uh, already. Okay. Okay. But anyways, uh, but anyways, and uh, nine six period blogspot dot com. What it is? I don't know if you ever heard of uh, Norm Stahl. He's a comedian. He travels all over the United States. You know, like Ooh. comedians do, right? Anyways, he's on this program, WH, and then the Johnny Burke Show every every Friday. And um, I put Johnny Burke, the host of the show that I've been doing since nineteen ninety eight, every day. But they know they never know what I'm going to say. Well, here's what I did. Norm responded to this picture, right? And he says, oh, cute, because he's in the picture, but I didn't mention him, right? Things like that. And he says, Blondie, you know, have you seen my blog where I, the uh, Marriage of the Minds, that part, right? Have right. you seen it? Anyway, for Blondie is my uh, my bride mind, okay? It's all about the minds. Anyways, he, Norm said, can you translate what Q's saying? Because nobody can ever translate what he's saying. I was going to stop there, but I said, okay, do you want to translate something? I'll give you to translate something. Not only that, I said it on the radio. No, Johnny Burke read it on the radio, but I put it on my, on my, uh, first on my Facebook, and it went like this. Oh, I remember back in 1606 and 1607 when, because I lived many different lives. Okay, and I was doing a play for, uh, Shakespeare, and it was called Anthony and Cleopatra, right? And I, as I was playing the role of Cleopatra, because men and little boys play the women parts until 1660, and that's when the women start playing the roles for Shakespeare on stage. So I was Cleopatra, and I remembered uh, uh, Shake, you know, I used to call him Shake, okay? And I remembered that he said, okay, I want you to repeat these lines. This is what Aunt, uh, Cleopatra is writing a letter to Anthony. And here's, here are the words. As the salad turns green or something like that, right? Right. And whatever, the, the, the real lyrics. I don't have the thing in front of me because I can't talk to you right now and read it because I'm on the phone. But when you go to this and you read it, and I said, uh-uh, that ain't what I said. I remember being Cleopatra way back then. For real, I was Cleopatra. I remember, and I didn't say nothing like that. I said, hey, you, you better get that mother effing, uh, uh, goose pen over here with that F and ink because I want to write F and a letter to my Anthony because that B I T C H that you know he's so horny and all that kind of stuff and things like that. And if I don't keep on writing him a letter every day, he's gonna start F and somebody out there like that. So I gotta keep this up. So you give me that F and goose pen right now and whatever that F and paper is written now. Because I gotta write him a letter every day, and oh yeah, and bring me my green salad, and that better not be no Caesar salad. Get the punchline. That's funny. That's good. That's good. Let me ask you a question, okay? Well, I got you uh -huh. here. Tomorrow we have Little River Band on. Yeah, I love them. We're gonna have Tavares on Wednesday. Love Tavares. It only takes a minute, girl. Uh huh. Fall in love. Fall in love. Uh, well, I thought it was the other thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. More than a woman. More than a woman. So who's this girl? Her name is something Belcher. She's a big fan of yours, man. Who? Um, I know. She's oh. A... Fink? Oh, you, you mean Belcher? Hila. What's her name? B. Hila. Yeah. B. Hila. Donna B. Hila Fink. That's her. She's a big fan, man. Well, well, see, oh no, well, see, my my Facebook is not a fan thing. Naturally, it's a friend thing. It's a friend thing, right? You know? So, and I hate the word fans. You know what I'm saying? So they're all my friends, things like that. You know what I'm saying? So, but hey, you know, um, I treat them all equally. Well, I shouldn't really say that, right? I mean, <laughs> like I said, I write my songs for everybody, everybody out there. I write my songs for you, and you're the person that's not even born yet. And 50 years, 100 years from now, when you are born, 
you're going to hear 96 years, and you're going to say, oh, I dig it, you know? Yeah, so I think way ahead in the future when I write my songs. They're profound. They're, uh, they're timeless, things like that. People, okay. you, we got to get him down here. I got to talk to Ruth Eckert Hall. We got to get Q down here, uh, playing in Florida. Uh, Florida, oh, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got to rock it. Go there. We got to rock oh, it down okay. here. But no, okay. Well, I will talk about this because I do have it on my Facebook. I went to uh, on our thirteenth honeymoon. Uh, we just came back from hell on our fourteenth honeymoon. Me, my uh, uh, blondie mind, right? Right. If you go to my blog, you'll see, you know, what this is all about. It's the marriage of the minds. Well, for my 13th, our 13th uh, uh, honeymoon of the minds, we, I went to Sanford, uh, Florida. Wow. And I went to where? Sanford, Florida. Right. And I went to where, um, where uh, Trayvon, you know, uh, you can't actually go on a property, but you can drive by because you can see where that all took place and all that kind of stuff. Yep. I mean, people can and put teddy bears and flowers and all that stuff because, you know, it's, that's private property. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But I went there, and then um, and uh, another person, I didn't, we went to Orlando, we went to uh, Disney World, but I didn't go where Kaylee was uh, murdered for doing nothing. Right. And Trayvon murdered for doing nothing. And they're like 70 miles apart, right? And uh, anyways, um, I'm not really going to get too, in, too much into that because when all this was happening, I started my Facebook and, you know, my, uh, so I had to learn how to, uh, I'm still learning how to do that. And I said, uh, the dude that killed him, because he had people that commit crimes like that, why do we still give them more than 15 minutes of fame? And I'll just say this, like Andrea Yates, uh, Manson, and uh, you name it, right? Yeah. I mean, they're all time in the news. Why don't we blotch their faces out? Why don't we give them their cell number or their number, what it is, instead of their names? Because they look at TV, you know, all this kind of stuff, and nobody knows, uh, forgets about the victims, you know what I'm saying? That's right. And so I don't mention the guy that killed Trayvon, but now that I've gotten into it, really? You know, I mean, there's so much, I don't know how, if you were following it, but now I'm catching up, and it is profiling. Because I've been profiled so many different times, let me tell you. You know, you wouldn't believe how I've been profiled four thirty in the morning and things like that, right? I can believe that. And anyways, and uh, but to make a long story short, um, anyways, dig this way, just this scenario because I ain't going to get too much into this. Say it was a black girl, right? Right. Right. And she was there. Everything was said the same way that the the killer said, right? And, oh, there's a black girl, and uh, she's up, up, up to no good, and looks like she's on dope, and she's just looking around or something like that. Okay. Now, you tell me this ain't profiling, because this happens all the time, and you know what I'm talking about. I do. And the only thing made the news is because it's a black and white, and that's what politics is all about. I mean, like I said on my Facebook, because the parents said this is a, a black family's worst nightmare. I said, excuse me? And I went on Facebook and I said, excuse me, it's a Mexican worst nightmare, a Puerto Rican's worst nightmare, an Asian worst nightmare, except for a Jewish, you know, person. <laughs> but anyways, uh, with a hoodie on, right? Exactly. But you don't hear about these people getting killed and beat up. Nope. Because it's not a black and white situation. It doesn't make money. It's politics. And that's the only reason you heard about this. That's pretty much it. This. No, but dig this. Okay, but if it was a white dude, I say Caucasian, but I'm using white because I'm telling like it is. And I, we got to get a word of that white and use Caucasian. If it was a white dude doing the same thing, and the guy would have said, oh, Eminem, right? And the guy would have said, my name is, my name is, my name is. And they both would have said, cool. It would have been on the way, and it would have been a peaceful night, right? Right. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, but dig this. Take you back to the black girl now that's there. I call them color because I grew up with colored people, right? Okay. But anyways, but anyways, and uh, so say she's doing the same thing, and he's saying the same thing on nine one one, which he lied so many times. There's three different stories, really, in, in, in the stress report and the police interrogation. He tells a whole other story. But take this, anyways. This girl's up to no good. She's black, 
uh, she must be on dope or something, and she got a hoodie on. Okay, what's the first thing you're going to do? Think about a black girl that's there because there's been robberies before, right? Exactly. And he caught in the same time. He knew where he was going yep. because he lived in the same direction. Exactly. Trayvon was going in that direction to get away from him. Exactly. Okay, but but what do you think the girl was doing if you seen a black girl like that with a hoodie and just hanging around? And there's been robberies before by black, black kids. What do you think she's doing? Exactly. She's a lookout. Exactly. So what's the, what's the matter with the picture? Yeah, it's not right. It don't make any difference if it was a black dude. Or a white dude, yeah. Or if it was a black girl, it was a black person with a hoodie doing no good, I'm dope, and you take it wherever you want to take it. You know what I'm saying? Q, because... If that ain't profiling, I don't know what it is. Q, because we are preempted for that game and the game ran late, I got to go to commercial and I got to cut you off. But, uh-huh. uh, you know, I love you, man. And we're going to have you back on well, after the vacation. I'll be on vacation next week. But we're going to have you back on because people love when the Q oh, mark yeah. is on. You know what I'm saying? But we'll talk more about music. And I, like I said, I talk about anything. I know, and I love it. I and we love you, man. And this was a good mm-hmm. birthday having you on, man. And Very have good. a happy birthday. And uh, you got a long way to catch up to me. I, I know, my brother. But I, I've only come back twice in life so far. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, I'm going to be coming back many times. The next time I come back, I'm going to be a female, and I'm going to change a whole lot of things. Well, you're halfway there now. Male and female. Uh-huh. I'm going to be doing a lot of changes. Quay, kill you, take care. You have a good night. I got to get the commercial. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, Thank we'll you talk to you later. Bye. All right, bye. Uh, never a dull moment with him. Never a dull moment. Doesn't. I'll never make fun of David again, you know what I'm saying? How about when he goes, I'm coming back as a black bear? I go, you halfway there. Um... We um we got stories when we come back. Uh, we should we should we should get Q on with David Bergotti. Oh God, we we're gonna do that sometime. I would like that. Hackers can watch you on your TV. Did yeah. you know that? Yes, I did. That's a pretty good story. And it's yes, it is a good. And story. we might have a female uh, NFL referee. Yeah, I saw that as well. And we might as well. They're in the locker room now doing interviews, looking at guys' junk. So, uh, by the way, people across the country, that was Q from Question Mark and the Mysterians. 96 years, he's always uh, got a lot to say, and he doesn't hold back. He's huge, man. He's huge. This cracked me up, this uh, story we're going to try to get in. Angry Dolphin attacks people. I, I, I've never seen that. I've never heard that. But uh, uh, right now, we're going to send this out. to It's me, Mr. Nice Guy. Alice Cooper, one of my favorites. I believe I saw my 18th birthday. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, man. Jersey I guess you City did tell Stadium. Yeah, you told me about that. Did you have to Cooper. sneak out or something? Yeah, I did. I love this song. Nice guy. We'll be back. Cedric Harris, Artie Fletcher, Tina King, Rob, rocking the hand cream. We'll take calls. We come back. 727-441-3000 if you want to do the birthday wish thing. Toll free anywhere in the country, 866-826-1340. The Artie Fletcher Show on the Tantalk Radio Network.